Bechtel was open for uh, core branches, mechanical, electrical and civil and production also. Uh, they allowed people who had percentage above 70 percent. So nearly 30 or people from each of the branches sat for the written paper. The written paper was divided into two sections, uh, aptitude uh, including English as well as technical. The aptitude was fairly easy uh, but the number of questions were on the greater side and uh, English was okay, uh, some questions were good, uh, antonyms, synonyms and uh, LR part was also little testing. Uh, regarding technical, um, there were a number of questions on material science regarding composition of alloys and uh, some from strength of materials and kinot kinematics of machines and some lengthy calculations were involved so uh, it were, was time consuming in fluid mechanics uh, plenty of calculations they went down to decimal places but uh, um, it was okay if you have, if you studied it was okay and uh, 30 questions each in the aptitude paper as well as the technical paper and uh, they selected there was negative marking also for in the uh, technical paper and they selected nearly 10 people for the GD and groups of five. Uh, my topic was uh, in the two phases of India, whether India is shining or are we still where we were pre-independence. So I did speak on a variety of topics. I tried to highlight how we have achieved as regarding our economy and progress made in education and health. But there are also points regarding the shortcomings of our society, still communism, communalism and people still, still can be, they are not so aware of the developments which are going on at national level. And the main thing regarding the GD is that you should speak but you should also let others speak because they were very particular that GD is not all about speaking but also about giving others a chance and listening to what others have to say and there were some people who were uh, really not letting others speak so that went against them so it would be better if you also give others a chance to speak six people were shortlisted from my screen and the interview was taken by a panel of five people four from technical and one from HR and it was very they were quite friendly and they wanted, they told me, they asked me about myself, uh, my hobbies, my strengths, weaknesses, and why I would like to join this company. So it was, uh, I, had, I just said that it's a big firm, and plenty of experience I can gather from this company. As a majority of the projects that this company is involved in, they are across the globe. So I get to work with people from across the world and it would be a very enriching experience and uh, regarding the technical they were mainly concerned about my project which I had done any car team if you are involved in or any such project it would definitely help you and your summer internship they wanted to know about that and basics of mechanical engineering uh, some of the technical questions which they asked me regarding power plant engineering was they asked me uh, on what uh, is on what concept does the cooling tower of a thermal power plant work? Does it work on the dry bulb temperature or the wet bulb temperature? They asked me to specify how does it work, depend on that particular quantity. And they asked me how many nearly uh, approximately how many superheatings does in the, the, the do the, these uh, power plants operate these Indian power plants how many superheats so superheating cycles we can go for and then they asked me regarding the blowdown valve <coughs> what is the function of the blowdown valve in a boiler and uh, some questions from manufacturing and material science they wanted to know that if you have to weld uh, dissimilar metals so what are the processes and <coughs> what are the techniques what difference? Uh, how do we? <coughs> how do we? Uh, does the heat affected zone vary in such cases? And uh, underwater welding. What is the process involved in underwater welding? That's it. So for
for the written test uh, i would advise all that as much as possible only uh, enter those alternatives where you are sure because the questions carry negative uh, marks regarding the gd i would advise all to speak to express yourself but give others a chance because uh, they stress on the point that the GD should be a proper discussion and not one person imposing his views on the other. Regarding the interview, it was a very friendly one. Uh, there were five interviewers and I was quite nervous but they were quite friendly and uh, they were particularly concerned about whether I would stick to the organization because uh, along with me there were people who had more marks than me and uh, they had better projects but I feel that they could not convince the company that they would stick to the organization and uh, that was one point where I feel that they were looking for people who would stick with them. So I would advise all when if you are applying for Big Tech, you uh, convince them that you will stick with the organization and uh, and uh, you would uh, and they, uh, regarding one thing about my interview, uh, when they asked me to speak on a particular subject so I said uh, what is your favorite subject? I said material science and I said production. So they were, they said that they do, uh, they are not into production and they are into construction. So that my negative, uh, interview started on a negative uh, point but I had to eventually convince them that uh, I am looking forward to this profile and I want to work with them. So this is one point I want to say.